हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ एंगुलर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस सो अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वी ऑफन गेट आस्ट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एन एनजी टेम्पलेट आउटलेट एंड एनजी टेम्पलेट आउटलेट कॉन्टेक्स्ट और प्रॉब्ली व्हाट इट एक्चुअली सिग्निफाइज सो वील सी दैट टुडे विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल but uh, before that i'll just like to explain uh, whatever we have on the ui currently so we have an employees list and uh, we have a lot of cards here and within each card we have actually uh, mapped a few values like the name of the employee designation and bu okay and uh, based on the bu uh, we have actually uh, i mean different sets of cards okay so the banking and finance card uh, has a has a certain view and the media and entertainment has a certain view okay so for this uh, what we have done is so if i go to the code now uh, we have basically uh, an array of all the contacts and uh, depending on the sector we have actually mapped it uh, on the ui and each sector has a sector id okay so each sector uh, based on the sector id we have a different view so the sector id 100 belongs to the banking and finance sector id 101 belongs to the media and entertainment so the banking and finance sector will have a certain view and will have uh, uh, certain options in the drop down whereas the media and entertainment sector will have a completely different view so just for simplicity i have kept uh, the mappings the same but uh, i mean it can happen that uh, we have a completely different view for two se two separate views or sectors okay so here the only differentiating factor is the client name okay so uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll see how uh, how we actually use ng template outlet and ng template outlet context within the ng for directive okay so currently what we are doing is we are iterating through this contacts array uh, so we are using this contacts array in the ng for directive then this is the structural directive we are using to basically iterate through the contacts and uh, each sector id will have uh, a separate view okay but as in when we go ahead if say there are 10 sector ids uh, it might get little complicated and difficult to you know maintain the whole uh, you know template so in this case what we can do is we can we can create different templates for each and every sector and we can refer to the template uh, within the ng for itself and the way you will do it is uh, is something we'll see right now okay so what we see is we have an ng container which has a particular view for banking and we have a view for our media and entertainment okay all right so now we'll firstly create an ng template okay now we can remove this for now we can just say this is belonging to the media and we have another ng template which belongs to say the banking sector okay now what we can do is we can just copy the whole thing or uh, the view which was there for the banking we'll cut this from here we'll copy it here okay and we'll copy the media and entertainment view within the its own ng template all right so we'll cut this from here so we go here and we paste it here okay now if you see the contact dot name contact dot designation these are all mappings which will not work within an ng template right so for that to work what we'll do is we'll say ng container first and we'll be passing firstly we need to refer so within the banking uh, and finance uh, view we need to refer to the uh, template which is for, uh, which is related to banking so for that we'll use the ng template outlet and give the same template reference variable okay now for the mapping what we'll do is we'll say ng template outlet context and we'll pass an object saying contact and we'll be passing this contact okay now for the mappings to work correctly what we'll do is in the banking we will say let contact equal to the same mapping that we passed contact okay and similarly for for the media and entertainment we'll do the same thing the only thing is the template outlet will be media and this pretty much remains the same okay and we will also need to do let contact equal to contact the same thing is passed here all right so now if i just save it and just check the build okay this is successful if i refresh the screen 
so this is still successful this still holds you know uh, so this is how you use ng template outlet and ng template outlet context and this way we have simplified the view so if you see the ng4 it's more readable now and uh, whatever changes you want to make within uh, say the media template or say the banking template you can always do it here right so yeah that's it from this video if you like this video do give it a like do share uh, it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel thank you so much